Hi, it's Deanna, and I've been really getting into collecting antique Victorian toiletries, like perfume bottles and glass bottles, and this one is absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see it. It's a zipper cut glass, and you see the little zippers cut? Let me try to zoom in on that. You see the little zippers cut into the edges of the glass? It gives it that look, that effect of like a zipper. And what's really, really cool about this is the top of the cap. Look at that cloisson, I think they call that cloisson. And it's like a French enamel. The Russians did this also, and so did the Chinese. And uh, so you see the enamel work with little wires going in between. So um, that was like a work of art in itself. So now a lot of people, you see people selling these bottles as perfume bottles or cologne bottles. But look at the sizes. Generally, if it was a perfume or a scent bottle or a vinaigrette, or um, like a smelling salts bottle, it would be much smaller. And uh, they did not make these type of bottles as uh, cologne bottles in this size. So that's wrong. So if you see something this big like this um, being sold as a perfume bottle or a cologne bottle, that's incorrect. What this actually is, is believe it or not, a toothbrush holder. So during the Victorian era, a lady, a dainty lady, would place this on her vanity with her toothbrush in it. So that's really cool. I thought I'd share this with you guys. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I mean, look at the size of this. <laughs> There's no, I mean, if a lady had perfume in this, it would end up being the most expensive perfume because how many, like at least like, oh my God, how many ounces could go into this bottle? It's heavy. I'm struggling to even hold it up. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you all soon.